All right, hey guys, Mike Caudill, brand ambassador for Go RVing, and holy stop the presses, I have something awesome. This is our last video of the day. We appreciate everybody logging in onto our Facebook page, our Instagram, and checking out our social today. Not a consumer show, right? But we're bringing you all the news here at the 2023 RV Dealer Open House in Elkhart. And I've shown you for the past day and a half, RVs galore. We have seen travel trailers. We've seen Class A, Class B, Class C. We've seen the smallest to the biggest with park model units. But one thing we have not seen, and this is what all of you at home are really going to appreciate, is going behind the scenes and actually seeing partially how an RV is made. So I'm here at Nexus RV and their showroom. They invited us in. And before we show you what's new for them this year, they immediately came over and I walked right over to this skeleton, this exoskeleton or internal skeleton. This is how they develop their class C units. And I think it's absolutely amazing. So I'm not gonna tell you how it's made, but I am gonna introduce you to Cloud, and I'm gonna say his real name, Claudio Donati, one of the founders of Nexus RV. And I'm gonna climb out of this and we're gonna talk for a minute because they've got some exciting stuff going on. And here's what I wanna position first is that you have great RVs, right? And then you have what I would consider some of the top tier pinnacle RVs. So if you're in the world of class C's, you have gas and you have diesel. Yes, sir. And then I walked in here and I was like, holy smokes, like this is awesome. So welcome. Thank you very Appreciate much Appreciate you me. being on. Um, I, I, before we get into your business, okay. he's a football player too. And you know we've been talking a lot about football. It's fall, Monday Night Football last week. Indianapolis won this week. Like it's been, and we got our butts kicked, by the way. Titans, 42 to 44 to 10. It was a nightmare. Yeah. Quarterback in college, linebacker in college. Immediately walked in. It was like football, football. So this is going to be a fun one. And I looked at this, and I'm like, yeah, made by a middle linebacker, made by an outside linebacker. Um, thanks for being on. You have an amazing business. Tell, I want to talk about this first. Tell, us, tell us why you brought this out. Well, when we started the company in 2010, we said we have to have a game changer. We have to do something totally different. And re we focused on building the structure as safe as you can build a motorhome. So we tested this steel. It's a high strength, low alloy, 20 gauge steel. And we tested it against all the other manufacturers who use aluminum. And it's 72 percent stronger. So right away, we're like, we have an anchor feature that's really going to separate us from our competition. You and you, you walked me over here and I would come on in. I want you guys to look at this closely. So. What do most companies make this out of? Aluminum. They use a one by two or one by one aluminum. It's usually um, spot welded and they hold it together before they laminate their sidewalls. What on. is this made out of? This is a high strength, low alloy, 20 gauge steel. It, it is a 20 gauge, so it's not as heavy as everybody thinks in their head. And it allows us to give 72% more strength on our frame. And there's two real benefits when you do that. Number one, it's going to get, give you torsional rigidity. So when you're driving down the road, the wobbly box feel you get in a lot of RVs, you don't get with our product. The second thing, in the event there's a side collision or something going on, you're safer. And so we're really, our idea was let's build a safer motorhome for everybody and their family so it will drive better and it's going to keep your family safe while you're going down the road. Earlier we interviewed a legitimate space engineer and he was throwing out a variety of awesome terms. So I just want to back up for a minute. Torsional rigidity is the center mass of a product, right? So the center of this is, if you were to take it, you talk about center mass. It's the ability of the metal to move like this. So the closer you can get it to flat is the better stability ability you have with a product so you don't have the wobble like cloud was saying a minute ago it's going to keep the structure tighter you like that yeah i, yeah. I gotta throw it's, out some in my italian name and my american name i'd bring it all together <laughs> it's all together i love it right um and so, you're smart you're a quarterback i try to be, i try to be um so it's all about safety and you were using some different companies as well a minute ago um you talked about Subaru, right? They talk about safety and other brands in the market. So this is your new gem for this year. Let's talk about it. Absolutely. This is our first step into the Freightliner chassis on a Super C motorhome. A Super C motorhome is a Class C built with a tr commercial truck chassis. And on the front end of this unit here, it's our Wraith Super C. We have the Freightliner chassis. And what we have under the hood is a 340 Cummins. Oh. 
with a 2500 yeah, big, series Allison time. transmission, and it's got an air ride suspension on it. So it's a step up in the air ride suspension. It's a step up in the horsepower from previous year, and it's the first time we have the Freightliner chassis on our product. I, I love what you did with just the exterior styling as well, right? You went with kind of the dark on dark colors. It gives it a very pronounced and, to be honest, an athletic look. Yes. Uh, and that's what you see. Let's talk about the outside. Well, I want to walk all the way down, then we'll make our way up inside. Storage, multiple floor plans. Break it down yep. for me. So we have a full basement storage compartment, enclosed heated and holding, or black and gray holding tanks, your fresh water tanks under the bed. Um, our construction is made, again, the steel frame is what the foundation is, but our sidewalls have no wood products in them. Everything you see here, the substrate is a product called Asdell. Asdell is a fiber product. It's not wood-based, so you don't have any moisture that will be collecting inside your laminated parts. So that's all vacuum bond laminated. And then the exterior is a Sherman Williams four color paint. Our roof is again, more exclusive construction features. It's a wraparound fiberglass roof. What I mean is the sidewalls like that and the fiberglass is actually pulled over the side and it's, and it's uh, attached into the gutter. So you have no seams on your fiberglass roof, which is really what we were shooting for. Galvanized storage boxes. We have a duct system inside, this uh, HVAC duct system, so it's got metal ducts, so it transfers air equally throughout your unit. The best construction in the business is what you're going to get with us. Now, this year, we added a little flavor because we have more interiors going on, so not only are we the strongest built, best built, most durable construction in the industry, we believe we have the best looking interior product. All right, then that's the easy one. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so we make our way up inside. You mentioned that the storage system runs the entire bottom, so you're one level when you make your way onto the inside. And first thing right out of the box, right? It is just stunning on the inside. You can just feel sophistication, luxury, and leather. Break it down for us. So what you have here is solid hardwood cabinet doors. They're made by the Amish community, a company called Middlebury Hardwood. And this product is called the Modern Interior with an Adventure Package. And the adventure component of this is the green cabinetry blended in with the modern oh, light yeah. woodwork. Yeah. So it's, it's for those people that maybe wait in line for their Apple phone. They drive Volkswagens. They want something a little tastier. You know, they just don't want the vanilla. They want a little bit of uh, sherbet with different flavors. So that's what we're showing here. And everything is lightened up versus previous years. Our interior wall boards have all gone lighter. We have decor panels on the front of it. Again, I mentioned the HVAC duct system. It transfers the air back and forth. This unit is a bath and a half unit. Um, so you have a fireplace with your TV here with a nice little slide room that pops out. And then you have your, your um, guest bath commode. And then you have your master bed, uh, bathroom in the back. So if someone's coming to visit you, they don't walk Shut through your bedroom off. all the way. They just come right here, and they can uh, go to the bathroom right there. So that's a separate commode area, and they don't walk through your trunks through your master bedroom suite. And then, obviously, you have your master bedroom suite in the rear back here. with a washer and dryer, combo washer and dryer right behind you there. And so this is a coach that a lot of people will live full time on. It's a king-size bed. Pop slide out, you have overhead cabinetry, two air conditioners, 50 amp service, you got a thousand watt inverter on board, and we sell this product um, for our retail customer. They can get it below 200 grand. You are matching my energy today. I love it. I'm, you're the first one that's been able to get up on that linebacker quarterback level. I'm chasing um, you out of the pocket. Man, it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I love the design. I love the layout. Um, there's a softness on the inside, and I like that feel with an aggressive exterior, right? So you've got this exterior that, for me, football athlete i want a rugged awesome look on the outside but my wife doesn't want that right she wants to feel opulence and luxury on the inside and you've done that with this soft wood the colors and also there's a ton of recessed lighting in here yes yes i, I think you're you're hitting it exactly the way we were trying to accomplish when you're at the when you're pumping gas into the unit you want somebody to walk up and say man that's a beautiful rig beautiful. so you can be proud of it and then when you come inside you can relax a little bit your wife's happy when happy life, happy wife, right? That's exactly. what everybody says. Uh, talk about technology. What are what do we have in here tech wise? We've got USB charging, we've got all the th things that you'd expect. Yeah, smart TVs, USB charging, uh, inverters. I think we're we're moving toward that step where things become more electric. 
Um, we don't feel like you can do some of that stuff halfway, so we're going to wait till a little more sustainable technology lets us do more electronic version. This has an onboard um, Onan generator, so it's a diesel generator tapped into your fuel tank. You can boondock in this coach. We have solar panel standard. We have a mobile eye system, so when you're driving down the road, it'll actually show you where all the vehicles are around you. Mm -hmm. So we're tapping into some of that stuff on your dashboard so you can really – uh, take advantage of uh, CarPlay, um, you know, those kind of things. CarPlay, Android Auto, all the tech. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't ask what length are we at. Uh, this is 37 feet. It's a 37F for Freightliner okay. on the Wraith Super C. And, you know, we we tied it into some yeah. exotic car names, so and that's where that comes from. I, with that, the motor that's under the hood, um, towing capacity? 10,000 pounds. Yeah. Now, we have other That's products. a lot. Yeah, if 10,000 is pretty standard for a commercial a truck, you tow a Jeep. Now, we have a product called the Ghost that goes up to 20,000 pounds. So if you are looking to tow a boat or some big um, overload trailer, we do have the answer for you there. But this is really the standard commercial truck chassis towing capacity. And so this is your first Freightliner? Yes, sir. And your previous one is international? Yeah, we, we have built exclusively our commercial trucks until this year on international and we brought in the Freightliner due to we want to bring in the right price point and uh, there was an allocation issue with as we all went through COVID there was difficulty getting some chassis the commercial truck business has done very well outside the RV industry so it's hard to get trucks sometimes can so, we go look I, I we have this is our last one of the day we can go and explore can we go into one of the others absolutely I want to take a look and see what one of the others <laughs> looks like as well Go from the, the Freightliner to the International, having a little bit of fun. We're going to go check out one of the other ones. I want to see, so different motor under the hood. The Cummings, well-known for, obviously, their towing capacity, and that C represents everything. This is a International MV chassis. So you have a 360 Cummins in here. So it's a little bigger engine than what you have over there. It's air ride, just like that one. But this has got a GCWR of 46,000 pounds. Holy So smokes. it tows 20,000 pounds. Um, this unit has a one-piece fiberglass cap, running boards, um, a little more advanced exterior look on it. Bus-style storage doors on the outside, so they're just a little more bus look to this unit. Tell us about your buyer. Like, I see race car drivers, you know, towing big trailers with something like this Man, it, all it, over the map. It is truck drivers who've been driving trucks their whole life. They, they roll into this during their retirement. School bus drivers, farmers. Anybody who operated a utility truck, pole workers, you know, those people that are out there using trucks appreciate the trucks that we have here. So it's a real built-in business for us. Now you tie that in with people that maybe are not wanting to use a diesel pusher anymore because you're in your seat behind your front axle. This is one of the benefits of commercial trucks is in a, in a diesel pusher, you're in front of the axle or on top of it, and you feel like you're in a fishbowl with a big windshield. In this uh, configuration, you're behind the axle. You feel like you're more like in a van or a truck, so you're safer, people think. Secondly, serviceability. You can go to a service truck center, and they can pop your hood without going into your unit. So better service, easier to drive, safer because you're behind the front axle. It's like coming from all angles. That's why the Super C category is really exploding for the RV. Industry. And you don't have to get a commercial license for these, but most of those categories you mentioned were commercial. You know, you have to have commercial license. So this is great. You just buy one of these on the lot, and away you go. That's right. All right, you got to show me the inside. We got to take on a in. close look at this. So the good thing about this unit is it's the same floor plan of the unit we just left, but this is our other interior. Oh, it's this called is the cool. Coastal. Look at this. Look at that color. So it's, it's got a dark blue look to it. You have a beach, an aged um, light oak look to the, uh, the cabinetry. Um, this has been an absolute home run for us. Same floor plan as what you were looking at before, but here you get the larger refrigerator. You still get the washer and dryer in the rear, and it's a different interior with a different configuration with the chassis. So it's so really... Pretty. And, and there's about a 20 grand difference in cost between this product and the Wraith. Awesome. I just love the way the, the look and feel is of the interiors on these. Um, when we think about these on the road, you know, we're thinking about overlanding and off-roading. Do you offer any all-wheel drive versions? Yes, we do. It's right behind us. If you want to look at a third unit, it's the I, end of the day. Let's go. We, it's, we're, it's not on a, we're, we're on, we're on nobody's timeline today. So this product that I'm going to show you now is called the Rebel. 
This is built on the Duramax uh, 6500 heavy-duty Duramax diesel engine. So this is that like a rock engine from Bob Seeger's Allison commercial. Allison transmission. It's an Allison transmission. It tows 12,000 pounds, and this gives you four-wheel drive. And does this, is this higher off the ground because it's four-wheel drive? No, it's, it's actually lower on the ground versus a commercial truck. Okay. And so it's, it's got, a lot of people will add some spring suspension if they're really doing some off-road work on it. But we have a 30-footer and a 35-footer. Normally, it's a lower profile, 4x4, four four, gives you an incredible transmission engine combination. And again, this is um, this is our number one selling floor plan last year. Okay, so this is this is your plan that everybody likes. But yeah, I think we got some folks in there. We're gonna we're gonna not rain on their parade, but um, thank you so much. Oh, I mean, welcome. it's so obvious you're a linebacker. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but these are beautiful machines, and I think what you're doing is great. Uh, I've been in a, a Super C for the past six months, and I really love what you were saying. I think that's one thing that we <clears throat> kind of forget about, you know, we have so many great choices in the world of RVs. What do you want to, what do you want to have, right? I've had everything from a small Volkswagen Westphalia all the way up to a full size diesel, you know, diesel pusher. And it's, it's awesome. Now we're in a, in a super C. And I think that's, what's amazing is that you feel like you're in something a lot easy, like it's very easy to maneuver and drive. And then you've married in just such great looks on the exterior, but that soft luxury and as I was saying, opulence on the inside. Uh, where can people get more information on what you guys are doing? We're at www.nexusrv.com is our website. Uh, it's probably the best place. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're out there all the time. Uh, we just hosted our owners club, so we have a, a, an ambassador group that seems to believe what we're saying. So we look forward to having them continue to grow and be out there for us. We'll be at the Tampa show down in Florida in, in January. We just finished at Hershey last week, so we're, we're hopefully – enough places where you can find us well you have owners come down well they because that's what's great about tampa all these owner groups yeah. come down and they'll park you'll have owners down there yeah we will it's tailgating fact, we we had them here three days ago and they all asked if we can come in the display we'll give them some garbs and they'll walk around and awesome and tell them good and bad you know we we believe i will be there as well all right with my football helmet on there you go we'll thank be playoff you so time. much thank you very much all right guys hey this wraps up day number two here at the 2023 rv dealer open house in elkhart indiana it's been an amazing day one and day two showing you everything that's available uh, are going to be available in the marketplace or available right now in the marketplace. Tomorrow, we're going to be right back at you early in the morning, bringing you more cool content from everything happening here in Elkhart. All right, everyone, have an amazing night. <laughs> oh, the linebacker got him! The linebacker!